I have a call from an inmate at California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. So, uh, so what they call you? Um, my name's Alex. What's your nationality? Um, Mexican. Are you part of any gang groups, organizations, or used to be in one? I used to be in one, and the name is uh, Playboys. Where is it located? In South Central LA. What made you join? Well, I have uh, six brothers, and they're all from, well, from that gang I used to be, and I was nine years old when they jumped me in. What they taught me is that from this corner, from that corner, and so on and so forth, is ours. And do not let others come in and, and bang their turf or their territory or claim their gang. And I don't know why, but that's the way they taught me. And if I see another individual with different tattoos, different gangs, like, I got to get them. Or I got to kick them out of there. And, and that, that's all I knew. That's all they taught me. All my brothers from the same neighborhood. And I believe for me joining this gang that I was going to get closer to my family. I thought that by proving to them that, that I can be their brother that they're gonna kick with me and they're gonna show me love. And I thought love was coming from the homies because they showed it to me every day, kicking it with me, having my back, um, pretty much protecting me and I protecting them. And that's what made me join it because I believe that you were strong. I thought our friendship, uh, our loyalty was strong. Now, I know those things are wrong, but honestly, Growing up in a poverty place is like, that's all we know, so I thought it was right. I thought that, that that's all we had because ain't nobody else trying to help us. So now, I don't judge nobody for who they are. They do the thing, it's on them. Were you convicted of? Uh, two attempted murders on NAPD officers. How long is your sentence how long, and how long have you been incarcerated? They gave me 21 years with two strikes and I've been incarcerated for 11 years. When you first got sentenced, how you feel about it? And when you first went to prison and hit the main line, what was your mentality? At first, well, I got incarcerated when I was uh, uh, 15 years old. So I still had that young mentality like, excuse my language, but uh, uh, the, the fuck it fucking mentality and I saw that I had to prove uh, points every time and that's what I did. I, I used to raise my hand for everything. Do you have that you had to make a name for yourself in there? Yes, yes, yes I did. I tried to do everything and I've been already through 17 prisons and I've been in a lot of holes. Were you involved in any riots? Uh, yes. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. And what do you have to do to make a name for yourself in, um, in your car? I had to, well, it started from LA County when I got there when I was 18. I had to stab somebody and it just kept progressing, stabbing and stabbing and, and fighting and pretty much that. Was it worth it? At that moment, I thought it was, but now looking back, no, it was it was not worth it. And how was it? How 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 is it not worth it? It wasn't worth it because it got me more time and it separated me from my family. They knew that I love more the gangs than I love them. So I put that to the side and, and I gave it my all, my all to this gang and, and this prison stuff because it's what I believe in. It's all I knew at that moment. How would an individual be chosen to go on a mission? Well, it could be anybody, anybody, and any 
any person that that wants to make a name for itself. It could be anybody. It's not age or, or, or any, any, there's no category. It could be just anybody if you want to. Uh, or sometimes you have to, sometimes you don't even got a choice. You have to, so they can see where you stand or they can see that you're loyal to them. Or yeah, pretty much sometimes you have to, you don't got no, no, no choice. And what if uh, they decline? What will happen to them? What happened to... If they, if they the decline, if they don't want to go on that mission. Oh, okay. They, they get, it's either they get disciplined or, you know, people look at you different. Like, they, they look at you like, oh, he's nothing or he's a scary dude or... or He's not really with us, so so put him to the side, or keep a minimum towards them. Don't 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 tell him anything of what's going on in the yard or what's gonna happen. That's that's the way I thought it was. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. I, I want to help out the youngsters because I was young when I got incarcerated. I was 15, and. These youngsters think they got they got a point to prove, and and they want to be just like the older homies, or I want to be that person that has that yard, or I want to be that person that that shop car. Like I tell these dudes what to do, and, and I feel bad for that because I was right in their shoes, and I'm still in their shoes because I'm a person that that changed. My my recovery of changing is every day. Not, it's not like, oh, today I'm going to change the family. It's done. Nah, it's an everyday thing because the mentality is always going to be there because that's the way I thought it was real. I thought that was, that was, I thought that was me and my gang. And I want to help them out because it's not just that. It's more to that. It's just not that individual, that, that older homie that helps them out and tell them, nah, bro, it's another way out. But there's nobody like that. And I want to be that person for them. Because there is somebody like that. I want to be that role model and help other people, or people can help me too. Because I'm open-minded. I'm open for any help from anybody. This I took CGA, NAAA, um, IPED, MAP education program. I'm certified as a. I can help out the the, the nurses. I did a three-year course of that, and and I'm proud of myself because. I keep doing that. Even though I did those classes already, I'm still doing the classes because I still need help. I, I take something from everybody because, and I apply it in my life because everybody has something to help someone. Um, I, I now it is like I I would love to get out. <laughs> like it's, it's it's my my goal, and and I have to so I can be with the family now because. Now I consider myself like a family person. Now now I cherish family and friendship, and I hold on to that now. So I'm trying to put all the prison stuff uh, uh, in back of me. You have 60 seconds remaining. So these uh, youngsters that are um, raised out, raised in the hood and stuff like that, how, how would they, you know, be able to get out of that situation? The only way... I think they will get out is by someone helping them. No, it's not the word I think, it's that I know. If someone can be there and help them out and show them a different route, I believe they can change. I believe anyone can change because I'm, I'm that, that proven fact that I'm changing.